Anna and today's video is a really exciting video on a tutorial on how to make your very own pencil grips. So these are the two designs that I'm going to show you how to make. There's this fishtail design that is really pretty. Or there is this wavy design. This is the growing up and this is the growing down design. I'm afraid that um, if you have a loom that has a base to loom so you couldn't, you can't really it grow down then you'll need to make this one but if you have a loom like the official rainbow loom that can grow down or up you can make any one of these so let's get started so you'll be needing your loom a hook and some bands so first with your loom we're only going to be using four pegs today so it's going to be these four here um, if you don't have a, remo a removable base loom where you can move the pegs around then you'll just need to use these four pegs just usually but I like to remove the um, middle pin to align it so it's square off. And this just makes it a lot easier when looming and it's easy to see. But if you don't have the loom, it works just as well. First you're going to take two of the same colour bands. This is all two banded. And you're going to put it on your first peg. But you're going to wrap it around so it's the infinity sign. So you're just going to cross it over. Another two bands cross it over once again another two bands and go all the way around the box like so now push them all down and you're going to get your next colored bands and you're just going to do it normally so just up another two bands across it's important to push down so it's easier to loom and also to place your bands. Oops. Again. And one more time. Push down. And now we're ready to loom. Turn your pegs over. You're going to flip over the bottom four. Once again, flip over the bottom four. Turn around and the exact same thing. Like this. Push your loom down, I mean your bands down. And now we're just going to repeat that process. I'm going to continue this pattern until you finish the desired length of your um, pencil grip. So I did around four more rows and as you can see it's getting extremely congested. If you have one of these looms and you want to do the growing down design, you are going to loosen up. Just take this base off Oops. and um, you are just going to loosen up the bases around here. And you're just going to take this off and then just kind of pull it a bit also push down so then all your bands are free make sure they don't come off and while you do this you're going to pull this down and then once once it's pulled down you're going to place it back onto your bands and put this base back on like that and as you can see now you can pull it down as you loom it is kind of hard to pull down but and so like that if you want to do the growing up design and it is just very congested here, what you're going to do is you're going to poke your hook through, try to snag the um, first bands all the way down there and then make sure you put all your fingers over the pin so they don't pop off. You're going to slowly tug until it comes up like so and just get in there, pull all the way up and just make sure you don't tug too hard like I did because it will look a bit funky but we can fix that at the end. Exact same thing, keep looming and keep flipping over until you get your desired length. Okay guys, I'm done with my um, pencil grips. So you're just going to grab your pencil and we'll put it on. So here I have my pen and I do recommend doing pens instead of pencils because it kind of gets annoying and kind of dirty when you sharpen your pencil and you are going to just get your hook going through the bands 
take one off at a time. Make sure you're being very cautious on the other bands, like so. Now you're going to get your pen, you're going to poke it through the middle, you're just going to poke it up through the middle, poke up and push through. Once it is where you want it and you're just going to straighten it up a bit, you're going to get the first four bands off your hook onto your finger or another hook. I just do it with my fingers. Make sure you don't lose them and put them on your pen on top of it so it is gripped onto the side. Now since you've done the first one you can just put all of them on. It is a bit challenging to get them oops sorry to get them all on at a time. And as soon as you've got them all on you can let go. And here is your pen design. It is practically done, it is very comfortable and it makes you not get any blisters or anything. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. It really does help or subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really do rec recommend, I definitely do appreciate it to everyone who just comments down below and just makes me feel so good about my YouTube channel and just makes me want to make more videos for you guys. So I'll see you guys later. Bye!